happy Monday. I'm exhausted. I had a really busy week at work last week and I'm just completely shattered and very, very sore. So I'm gonna try and rest up as much as possible this week. Um, since I've done so much overtime, I'm gonna hopefully work a little bit less as well and catch up and hopefully feel a little bit better and brighter. The thing is with the COVID restrictions is it's difficult to get out. And now that the clocks have gone back, it's dark by the time Ian finishes work. So we're gonna struggle to even go on, on our walks. So we'll see, we'll see what it's like. And I guess we'll find out together. Hey guys, um, so last night one of my best friends popped round with her latest creations um, because she is starting a vegan cheesecake factory basically. Um, it's called Plant Power Cheesecakes and she's sent me some and they're all vegan uh, but she's done gluten free, especially for me. So this is her first foray into gluten free and they look so good. That's the raspberry and chocolate. We've got rum and raisin and chocolate and hazelnut. So Ian and I are very much looking forward to those. I'm gonna try some right now. Morning guys. Um, well, afternoon. I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I tried to do some work this morning and it just took it out of me, so gonna try and rest up and also my knuckle was hurting so I taped it up but then didn't realize how hard it is to type with your fingers taped together <laughs> um, yeah I'm just shattered I think the busyness of the last couple of weeks is catching up on me and I just need to stop and catch up a bit I've not been feeling too well today so I have pretty much been chilling on the sofa but Ian got himself a new watch. <laughs> Do you want to show him what you did? <laughs> so your watch face. <laughs> oh, it's not in focus. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> Look who it is. That's the scary face I pull <laughs> when no one else is around. <laughs> Oh, we're going to watch Bake Off. Hey guys, so in an effort to try and get outside and get some exercise today, Ian and I went and played basketball on our lunch break, um, which was quite fun actually, um, even if I did take a ball to the head. <laughs> um, yeah, it was good to get out and, and get a little bit active. I may hurt tomorrow. Um, and then I came back in her shower and, you know, put some makeup on, dried my hair and, and actually got dressed. And um, the meeting that I was going to with an outside organisation that I did that for because I wanted to look presentable, um, we didn't have the video on, so <laughs> made that effort for nothing. But anyway, at least I'm I'm up and dressed. But um, having had a shower and that meeting, I'm now completely exhausted. So <laughs> so I'm going to uh, crash out for a little bit. Before getting on with some more work, I will see you later. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Um, I'm very, very tired, as I have been all week. Um, and also my hip has really been playing up. I It was playing up last night and I got a bit of an early night, but unfortunately it hasn't helped. So I'm gonna try and walk it off. Um, but something that I'm very excited about is we are going to see my favorite puppies. I haven't seen them in like nine months. Um, so I'm really looking forward to some puppy cuddles. I need that kind of love in my life. I just hope they remember me. I'll see you in a bit. Come on! Come on! <laughs> 
Okay guys, it was so lovely to see the pups yesterday and take them for a walk. I really did need those puppy cuddles. But I was absolutely exhausted when I got back and then I had a couple of work meetings. So I just had to um, lie down and chill for the rest of the day. I had awful stomach pain, awful headaches. I was just not feeling good at all. And um, I haven't really talked about why all this seems to be going on, but basically it seems to be my periods. They are playing up something rotten and have been all this year. I used to have really bad periods when I was a teenager and have been on the pill for a really long time. But this year, it's just 2020, isn't it? Um, and they decided to start back up again through no good reason. Obviously, at the beginning of the year, I kind of figured it was stress. I had a lot going on. Um, but they haven't calmed down and have been really irregular, but the problem for me is that they're just knocking me sideways in terms of fatigue and pain and headaches and it's just been really really awful and I'm struggling to concentrate and I know this is a this is a problem and I had some tests um, to see um, why this might be happening but all of those have come back normal so I'm a bit of a loss at the moment as to what to do about it because I can't carry on like this and trying to get a GP appointment at the moment is just absolutely ridiculous because they're only doing on the day emergency appointments um, and they aren't doing routine ones so it's a really tricky thing to navigate and I don't know as well this is just me probably being a bit silly but I think as people with chronic illnesses we're so used to being like there are other people much worse they need it much more this is a silly problem in comparison but at the end of the day it's not and it's affecting my life and my ability to function the way that I do usually it's tricky for me because it's just meaning that I'm really struggling with work um, every month and I can't I can't have that where I need to take time off work every month. You know, luckily this week I worked so much the last two weeks that I had some time in lieu. Um, so I could just do bits and pieces where, where I need to, but it's not a long-term solution going forward. So I'm going to try and get an appointment next week and see what can be done about it because it's getting ridiculous now. Anyway... I've finished the work I need to do today. I desperately need to get the last of the Dysautonomy Awareness Month videos out because there's only two month, two days left of the month. Um, but I will, I will do those now. Um, I caught up with my mum. I need to catch up with my dad. <laughs> I'm trying to arrange what on earth to do for my birthday because loads of people are asking. And obviously, I think in this time with with corona like you just can't plan even if i plan for the situation i'm in at the moment and plan to do something outside it could all change in two weeks and i'd rather not plan so i can't be disappointed i'd rather just say ian and i'll just spend the evening in and watch a movie like we always do um but you know i think that's how how winter lockdown birthdays are going to be this year unfortunately anyway i will stop rambling and get on with what I need to do and talk to you a bit later. As usual, time for a wild Friday night. <laughs> hey guys, we are carving pumpkins on our Friday night. <laughs> we have a little bit of a selection. These are the ones that we picked last week. Ian, do you want to show us what we got? Please. <laughs> <laughs> So we got this little snowy guy, this little funky turban Turks, I think he was called. I'm not sure what the green one is. Um, and then Ian chose this round guy, and I chose this kind of standy uppy guy. And uh, we're going to have some fun. No, it's going to be better. No, it's not. We have got all of our lovely innards out of our pumpkins and we're going to put our designs on. Ian, you've gone for like a wolf, which you're looking very yeah, confused it's about. Falling apart, it's not long way. Uh oh, <laughs> you might have to think of a plan B. I am going for something very predictable, but you'll see what that is in a minute. Yeah, 
just thinking that the side might be green. What colour is it going to be? Is it going to be orange? Is it going to be green? Is it going to be white? What's it going to be like inside? <laughs> Ready? Oh. oh, it looks like a melon. Yeah, it does. Overall, I'm really impressed with our efforts. Uh, my Olaf looks pretty good. I hope you guessed that it was Olaf. And then we've got a little smidge here. Unfortunately, he was just too little to um, to have a tea light in him, bless him. <laughs> um, then we obviously decided to write Ian and Jenny in a cactus, in a cactus. <laughs> we obviously decided to write our names in a pumpkin, um, which I took on and then my hand started to hurt and I decided that I didn't want to play anymore so Ian finished it off and then Ian did a cool werewolf um, and we didn't really know what to do with our, our other little guy so we've just kind of left him but I'm pretty impressed with that. Let me know what you think and which is your favourite. Hey guys, happy Halloween, happy Saturday night, Saturday. <laughs> Um, we had so much fun carving those pumpkins yesterday, but then I was shattered. Um, luckily, I'm feeling a lot better today than I have been the past couple of days. I've managed to have a shower as well, but I've done the classic EDS and POTS thing of having really fragile skin, so completely cutting my legs to bits when I shaved them. But then I had blood pooling in my legs, so they just bled and bled and bled. So <laughs> I'm lying with my shins above my heart to try and... Uh, calm the bleeding down so I thought I'd chat to you. Uh, Ian's just making some dinner. We spent a lot of the day shopping today basically. Um, Ian had his hair cut so I wandered around for a bit and then we did the food shopping but then I thought about the fact that we're probably going back into lockdown very very soon and we haven't got a Christmas tree and it would make me very sad if a non-essential item such as a Christmas tree couldn't be um, couldn't be bought because we were back in lockdown so I thought I'd get some and I got a little bit carried away with the decorations as well but I wanted to make sure that we had some because usually I'm an absolute Scrooge and will not tolerate Christmas before my birthday and then I won't I'll kind of be all right with it happening but I won't want to get involved till the beginning of December um, but I think this year feels a little bit different. I think that's the same for a lot of people because we just want something to look forward to, even if it's going to be a fairly naff Christmas as well. Um, but anyway, I um, looks like I've stopped bleeding now. So <laughs> I will go and help Ian make dinner and we're going to just watch some Halloween films this evening, probably Hocus Pocus and uh, I haven't decided on another one. Um, maybe Nightmare Before Christmas, maybe something scarier, if Ian can convince me. Ooh, maybe Rocky Horror. <laughs> I'll let you know what we decide and I'll see you tomorrow. Morning guys! Happy Sunday, happy November. Um, it's going to be a bit of a strange November but maybe I'll talk to you a little bit about that later. I'm very stressed about the new new lockdown and mainly what that means for work. Um, for me but I've had a hospital appointment this morning it was just dermatology it's annoying because it's an appointment that I've been waiting uh, since April 4 I was meant to have some patch testing because of the issues I was having with my eyes if you remember that um, but it was a long time ago and I've just had a chat with her and she kind of said since I haven't had any bad symptoms for the last five or six months um, that they're not going to bother with patch testing because it's not happening and it's taking so long with COVID anyway um, so it's a shame because I did kind of want the, the allergy testing to, because I know that there are some things I react to and it would be nice to know what they were, but since I haven't had a reaction in a while, um, you know, it, everything is kind of under control at the minute, so it does seem rather pointless. But anyway, at least that's all sorted and another thing kind of ticked off um, and tabled for now at least. If I have more problems I know that I can go back and get some help with it. Um, but anyway, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with myself. Ian's got some bits and bobs to, to do so 
I'm a bit scared about braving the shops purely because I know every single person ever is going to be braving the shops uh, in the next couple of days while they're still open. So I might just go home and chill for a bit. I'll see you a bit later. Guess who I'm with? And it's their birthday! <laughs> I, uh, I just love the fact that you will always be 10 days older than me. And it's, it's the best. It's I'm the, best. the older sibling. <laughs> <laughs> so guys um it was lovely to see karen for the birthday um i was glad that i got to do that um before before lockdown but obviously this whole lockdown thing is really stressing me out and i'm very anxious and very kind of upset and i don't fully understand why i'm i'm worried about work and what this is going to mean for my job um but i can't seem to shake this feeling and i'm sure it will it will calm down um especially when i know more about what's going on but i think all of us have got to remember that in this it's okay to feel those things and we've got to let ourselves feel those things um however frustrating they might be so anyway i've probably not dealt with it in the best way i've ordered myself a takeaway when these are things i probably shouldn't be doing but sometimes you have to just have a day like that and treat yourself it's nearly my birthday <laughs> and i'm gonna have a lockdown birthday so why not why not celebrate a little bit early by treating myself um and also the other upsetting slash annoying slash frustrating thing today is that i was getting my walker out of the car to go shopping and the seat fell off and not just fell off like the screws were loose fell off of us in the plastic and the frame broke so although i can still use it to support me walking um it can't carry stuff or and i can't use it as a seat anymore which is kind of one of the main purposes that i i use it thankfully because of lockdown i'm not i'm not desperate for it but i am going to need a new one and they cost money which I don't really really have so we'll wait and see on that one it's just it's just frustrating um it's just an extra thing that seems silly but i just didn't really need um that extra thing to worry about anyway sorry to end the week on a bit of a sour note i'm gonna try and cheer up and watch some strictly <laughs> and put myself in a bit of a better mood and um I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for coming along on this week with me. Your support always means everything to me. And I couldn't get through half the stuff that I get through without you lot and your support. So thank you. Spoons and love to you. I know this is a tough time for everyone. Please drop me a message or an email if you want to chat. Um, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. I'll see you very soon for another one.